All right, hey guys, what's going on? It's Cody from It's Bussin' Bussin'. Um, today, we are working on sealing up the bus. So, Carly, if you can see her, is over there in the driver's seat eating nachos, which smell very good. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, it's been raining a lot, you know, we're in the south, it just rains all the time. You know, we're in that part of our build where it's not super detrimental if it leaks. So it's not like we're like living in the bus right now. So it's actually been really good that it's been raining. It's told us specific areas where um, the roof is leaking and just like parts of the window. So, and parts of the windows, also back door, just little droplets. It's nothing that's detrimental. It's not like it's pouring in, just little droplets dropping here and there. I mean, it's a 20 year old bus to be expected. It's not a uh, make or break. So today what we're gonna do is just basically seal up the entire bus um, with a lot, of, a lot of different areas. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rip out some of the old windows. I started like a few months ago and then I just got really annoyed with it. It's, it's, a, it's a really, it's a hard job. <laughs> we're gonna finish up. I think I have about eight windows left. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip them out, take off the old sealant, put new sealant on there and then put them back in. Uh, then for the roof, I got a ladder. So we're gonna get up on the roof and there's a couple areas where water's coming in. So we're gonna seal that up with some silicone, um, some, I think it's like RV roof sealant. Um, and then for the back door, we're gonna put on um, weather stripping. So I took off the old weather stripping that was just disgusting. And uh, yeah, we're gonna work on that weather stripping. So, oh, and then the biggest project of the <laughs> of the weekend is this. So we, we already put on the RV um, door. <laughs> God, I can't talk right now. We already put on the RV door. Now there's wood around the frame. Um, I'm not a welder, so I didn't do a metal frame for the door, which is fine, but we still need to put metal on there. This is wood just you don't want wood to be exposed to the elements for too long so i went to my local metal shop and i purchased an aluminum sheet metal and we're going to cut it to size screw it in put silicone along the outside and yeah uh, hopefully whenever we paint this thing it's all going to take correctly and so for a little while it'll look a little off with just like a little random sheet of aluminum metal we'll eventually get through that hurdle so we have a lot ahead of us. It's a three day weekend. We're wanting to get all the ceiling stuff done, like sealing out the bus today and tomorrow because Monday it's gonna rain again. Never stops, never stops raining. So it's gonna rain pretty hard. So we wanna make sure we're getting all of our, our ceiling stuff done by Sunday evening. And then Monday, I'm gonna do more work in the bus that doesn't require me to be outside or anything like that. So we're gonna get this stuff done. And yeah, here we go. I got a good amount of the struggle, just not when it worked. <laughs> this car just went ahead and finished up with our weather stripping. As you can see. We now have a nice airtight seal. It's not perfect by any means, <laughs> but it gets the job done. Whoa, are you making fun of my weather stripping? No, I think it's great. So good. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Cody. So we went ahead and we successfully installed the first um, window that we got. We went ahead and successfully sealed up the back hatch. And now we're going to do probably the hardest part of what we're going to be doing today. All of this right here is wood. Like I was saying earlier, it's not good to have wood exposed to the elements. So if you look over here, we went ahead and bought some metal. So this is aluminum T3 2024, if you want to know specifically what aluminum is. Basically what we're going to do right now is measure out the height and the width. We're going to cut that onto this board, tack it up 
and then Harlan's gonna go inside, trace out where on this the door is, put it back, and basically we're gonna cut out the area where the RV door is gonna go. Then we're gonna seal up around it for like water and stuff like that. So Carly's actually doing the ceiling right now. And yeah, we'll see how all this goes. thousand years later hey guys what's going on I just wanted to do a continuation video from yesterday uh, so the last video you guys saw I was cutting the metal now you see it's up here um, tacked up so it wasn't like it just magically happened there was actually a lot of pain agony a little bit of crying yeah so listen this this project almost broke me this was a really really tough one so first off it took about I'd say about an hour just to cut out. So we cut out the metal piece, the square, and then it took about an hour to cut this, this, and this. I think it was just the fact that the blade was either dull or something, but it took about an hour. I didn't live there, sorry. <laughs> just wanted to make an appearance. And then on top of that, it took a long time. I ran out of battery then. I literally got down to like this much left that I had to cut. I. I ran out of battery, so it wasn't fun. Ended up having to go home, come back at night and finish it. I'll go ahead and throw up a picture. Um, but the reason that the picture is, is it looks like it's dark out is because it was. I didn't finish until about 10 o'clock last night. But I must say that this door is looking a lot more official now. We have our RV door. We have aluminum T3 2024, if anybody cares specifically. We have it tacked up. And then basically what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna caulk up around the outside, right here, right here, just to make sure it's nice and waterproof. And then eventually whenever we paint over this thing, the whole thing is just gonna be, I think we're gonna go with like white. Really hard project, if I'm being honest. Um, I would rate this like a seven out of 10. Not skill-wise, skill-wise, if you know how to like cut straight lines, then you're fine. And the reason I'd say seven or maybe even eight out of 10 is it was just exhausting. We were in the sun took a long time, a lot longer than we thought it would. It was really annoying, just like with how long it was taking, but really happy with that now. We have that up. I feel like it looks a lot more official. And yeah, so go from there. Weekend. So uh, we just finished up caulking up underneath the windows and just kind of sealing them. We found that basically underneath every single window, there was a little like hole of light that we could see outside. So right now, again, this isn't super detrimental when it rains because we don't have anything really of value inside. But you know, once we start building, once we start having electrical systems, once we start having, you know, like a bedroom and, and a kitchen, we don't want water to be leaking in. So essentially what we're trying to do right now is just waterproof the entire bus. So yeah, that's pretty much what we did. We did the metal around the frame of the door. We caulked the windows. We also resealed the exterior door of the bus. We were gonna um, work on the emergency exits to reseal those, but we were talking and I was like, well, we're already gonna replace them with Max Air fans. So we're gonna replace those anyway. So there's no point in wasting talking and wasting time anyway. So we're not gonna do that. Um, so that pretty much concludes uh, this week's episode. If you guys enjoyed this, feel free to like, feel free to comment. Um, if you guys see that I'm doing something incorrectly or maybe something that you have a different perspective on, I would love your thoughts on it. Go ahead and drop a comment below. Um, we need help. We need help. We don't need help, but we hey, need help. we might need some help with certain things like electrical, plumbing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah. So if you guys enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe for more. Sure, the YouTube algorithm will so populate. Uh, we'll populate some kind of video right here. Recommended, best watched. I don't know whatever YouTube sees fit. Have a great rest of your day. We'll be back for more. Bye.